recording has started. And um, so we are now looking at the results. Uh, question number three was difficult. Let's see if that was because of my mistake. And the rest was relatively easy. Um, uh, most of you uh, have passed pretty well. Um, yeah, I believe that this, that this test was actually relatively easy. So, uh, so uh, I cannot say that I did not expect that. And now let's see the questions. We don't have much time. Um, so the female monkey ate the lady's food and slept. So it must be Nariya. Nariya doesn't exist. Uh, Bunjitva. Um, Bunjita is, um, is a different grammatical thing, which you did not learn yet. You will learn it probably in the, uh, in the future. Uh, Sai is past tense. Sayati is present. I'm asking about past tense. So it must be this one. The leader listened to the queen. Then he climbed the boat and entered the, the island. Adipati Rajining or Rajinang must be Rajining. All right. Rajinang is wrong. Rajining. Uh, because it's Rajini, the, uh, the original word, so it becomes Rajini. If it was Rajina, which is snot, it could be, uh, for example, you have uh, Kanya, woman, so it would be Kanyam, all right? But uh, it is Rajini, so it is Rajini. Sunitva, so, dawning, or Dola. So is it a boat? Or is it a palanquin? This is a palanquin. Palanquins are like um, uh, are like uh, tiny little chambers uh, that are carried uh, by human beings from front and uh, behind. So they walk, and the person inside the chamber is sitting. Aruha or aruhya. Uh, so aruhya and aruhya you would have get from the grammatical explanation in that chapter. So aruhya. This is the kind of uh, the so-called uh, interchange. So this is uh, the last kind of this uh, grammatical um, grammatical role. So when you have a, ro, and ya, these ha and ya will change. That's why it's called interchange grammatical role. And so it becomes a, ro, y, ha. Okay. But the roots are like this. This is the prefix. This is the root ro. This is the suffix. But when they come together, it must be interchanged. Aruha. Uh, Deeping or Deepang? Well, Deepang is an island. Deeping is a tiger. Monks listen to the, uh, to the sage. Oh, this is the, the difficult one. Monks listen to the sage and gain wisdom and patience. So Bhikkhu, Bhikkhavo are actually both correct. Maybe that's what was confusing. Muning or Muninang are both correct. Okay, Sunitva, Matinche, Kantinche, Labhingsu. So here, Labhangsu is a nonsense, all right? So it is Labhingsu. Labhi, so Labhi, he received. So uh, if you can uh, understand that it's so Labhi, Alabhi, so Labhi, like you have so Gachi, so, so uh, Apachi, he cooked, so, so Gachi, he went. So in the same way, it is so Labhi, he received. So Labhangsu, Cannot be, not at all. So we will be talking about B or D. So B, D, this one is fine. Suningsu or Sunitva? Well, they listen to the sage and, all right? So it must be Sunitva. Cannot be Suningsu. No more. Because now we are using this and. Maybe you remember before you learned uh, this uh, gerund, it's usually called, I would write this. Or I would write this previously okay but now because you have learned gerund we can use the uh, complete grammar so that's why only b is right b is wrong but if you still disagree you can send me in chat any suggestion why do you disagree somebody disagreed with me last week about when to use a ya and i said no i'm using i'm doing this according to book and i didn't discuss it anymore and then I realized it myself, and I have already corrected that test. And I also have changed the results. So uh, if you tell me something, I take it very seriously. I may brush you off and say, no, I'm doing it right. But I'm actually then thinking about it. All right? So do not think like 
uh, that if I just reject something that I don't know, it, I'm not like that. I reject it and then I'm thinking about it and checking it again and again and again and again and again. Okay. So if you disagree with something, let me know. It helps so much. This poly course may happen again for some other people or maybe for you again if you want to repeat. And we want to have it, you know, with, um, um, we want to have it perfect if possible. And you are helping to make these tests and the answers and so on perfect. So please let me know in the chat box if you disagree with something or if you have some idea or whatever. Or in Viber, or you can send me a private message here or in Viber. I think actually Google Meet doesn't have private messages. So you would have to send me in Viber. Uh, we will take this boat from you and to your island and you will listen to our law. So, mayang um, tumhehi or tumhaka? Well, we will take it from you, all right? So, from you is ablative, and so it must be. Uh, so, it must be. Uh, is it ablative? Is it? Yes, it is ablative, so it must be tumhehi, okay? Ablative is very similar as instrumental. So, if you know already instrumental, then you basically know ablative in many cases. Sometimes it's not so, but um, generally it's like that. So tumhehi, not tumhakang would be your. Tumhehi is from you. Tumhehi, doning adaya, uh, taking it from you. Tumhakang or tumhe. Tumhe means in you. Tumhakang means your. You see here, your uh, do dolang is the palanquin. We are here talking about the boat. So that's Donny. So from you, we will take the boat from you, and then we will enter your uh, your island. Okay, and you will be listening to our Dhamma. Okay, not Mayang. Mayang is we, so it's a nonsense. You, we, doesn't make any sense. You of ours Dhamma will listen. Okay? You will listen to Dhamma of us. Garavo jetarang olo ketva, tassa odanang datva ataving pavisingsu. So why not jetarang? Well, because it's nonsense. It's jeta, jetaro, so it must be jetarang. That's the way how the jetu uh, noun group uh, number nine uh, is uh, declined. Uh, olo ketva is of saint, tassa also odanang datva or data. Data is yet again a different uh, grammatical uh, role which you did not learn actually you had it you have it in the book data is the giver is the giver but you can actually make this uh, word from verbs through a grammatical role which will probably come soon later ataveng or vanang is the same thing pavisingsu is the same so why is it not this one because it's jetanang uh, why is it not this one because it's data Okay, so it must be only A. The powerful man brought the flag to the bridge, left it there, and went away, and went away. So Balava or Bali is actually the same thing. Balava and Bali are the same. You have learned Balavantu as noun group five and Bali as noun group fifteen. So we have actually both of these words. Setung or setang? Well, setang actually is white. I think you did not learn that yet. Setu, however, is noun group 17, and it's the, uh, it's the, the bridge. Ketung. Uh, Ketung is, is the flag. Uh, aharitva, ahariya. No, we don't have that. Aharitva, having brought. Tang or tatha. Tang tatha or, uh, yes, all of them are actually tang tatha is the same. Pahaya or pahayitva, both of them are correct. So, why is it this one? It's this one because it's not ahariya. Ahariya, no, sorry, doesn't work. And it's not this one because it's pahayitva, that's a nonsense. The man uh, of uh, relations spoke to his relations, they then went home by a So, bandhava. Bantavantu is nonsense. Bantavantu is the base word that you memorize, but as soon as you decline it in the nominative, it is bandhava. Bandhunang or bandhuhi. So he was talking 
so uh, he was talking, and we want to know uh, the uh, um, the declination. So here it is two. So because it is two two words, so it will have to be dative. Okay, so it's dative or dative. And because it's dated, it must be bandhuna. All right, bandhuna. It's uh, dative. You can remember dative is different from instrumental. So instrumental is bandhu he. So dative must be the other one. So it's bandhuna. So it cannot be bandhu he or this one a or d, and then um, it cannot be with the dot. I actually mentioned it last week that I will be correcting this. That I was not aware of that. Dolaya with dot is wrong. There is only in our scriptures dolaya without dot. Uh, but yes, uh, and then agamengsu and gachingsu is actually the same. So, is there any other reason why not? Why not uh, B? Any other reason why not B? Why not? Yes. No, this was the only reason. This, this was the only way how you could recognize that it's not B. You could recognize it's not A or D because of the case, but who he is wrong. But to know that it's not B, that it's C, you would have to know that there is no dot under L. Hattini gama gantva manusse hantva. Yes, then uh, I decided to make it a little easier. And so you have three questions uh, to the other language. So um, uh, this will uh, mostly um, um, help you with the grammar. So why is it the female elephant and not elephants? Well, because it's if it was elephants, it would be hattini yo. And um, you know, why is it not uh, the village? Killed the people. It's the same thing. Ate the banana plantains or plantain. So Gadalio. Gadali is one. Gadalio are many. And enter the forest. Atavang Pavisi. So it would be Hattiniyo. Uh, Hatti or Hattiyo. Uh, Hatti. Paki Pakino. Hatti hattino, pakki pakkino. So to have this uh, a plural, it would have to be hatti or hattino, according to the bird. So uh, that's uh, pakki, or this is actually 12, and this is actually 21, right? This is 21, it's not 15. So let's see how to decline that. Kumari. So we have here, according to Kumari, we will have Hatti here probably. See, Hattini, I see. So it's actually one. So Hattini. So Hattini, Hattini, Hattinio. It's actually the same thing. In that case, Kadali would have to be the same thing, right? Kadali is too. So also here. Hmm. I see. You know how you recognize that it's singular? You actually recognize it based on this word, Bavisi. You would not be able to recognize it from Hattini or Kadalio uh, because in both cases it is um, the same thing. Hattini is singular and plural as well. Hattini yo is singular and plural as well. Kadali and Kadalio are both singular and plural. But um, because uh, it is Pavisi, we know that she is one. And uh, if, it was, um, if it was one, because this is accusative actually, it would be Kadaling. So if she was eating one plantain, it would be Kadaling Kaditwa. But because she ate more, it was Kadalio. 
look at that like here kumaring see if it is one it would be kumaring because it was many it is either kumari or kumario so it would be kadali or kadalio and because it's kadalio we know it is plural it cannot be singular okay i'm happy so no problem then uh, so again here, pitaranam. So pitaranam is genitive. All right. So pitaranam, uh, sorry, it's not genitive. It's, um, it is ablative because it is, uh, because uh, you can always remember that um, instrumental and ablative are the same. Is it true? In that case, Pitarana. So it must be genitive, right? Their father is plantain. So it's genitive. So Pitarana and Kadaling. So that's the a banana plantain, plantain of the fathers. So they cut it off. So um, why not brother? Because it is Bhataro. One would be Bhata. Okay? We have Bhataro, so we know it is brothers. Uh, why is it one and not more? Well, because it was more, it would be kadalio. Here you have kadaling, so we know that it is just one. And that, uh, yes, and sold it or sell it. So, vikinitva nahayingsu. So, if they sell it, sold it and baked in the pot. Sell it and bathe in the pond. Yes. So we will not know it from this one, but we will know it from this one because both of them are in the present. We know that uh, the previous one cannot work um, or probably doesn't work. But we know that the bathe is definitely wrong because Nahaing so is past. We cannot really know from Bikinitva whether it is uh, the present or future or past or something like that. We will know it more from the other word. And the last one, Makati Miging Pasitva Migya Kataling Adai Bunjitva Vaping Gantva Mahing Olo Kesi. So why is it why is it gave why is it took and not gave? So Adaya means to take, it's not to give. So be careful about that. Um, so from the fame a female deer or to the female deer. So it is Migiya. Migiya to the female deer and from the female deer is actually the same thing. Okay. But because she took it, it must be from. Because you cannot give from give something from someone. You always give something to someone. So you uh, so you cannot really use this to. See, gave to, gave to, cannot be. Can be only took from. So it must be Megia Adai. Then ate it or left. So Adaya, so we have Bunjitva, and therefore we know that she ate it and not left. And then what happened? Did she uh, go and look at the, the earth or the sky? So Mahi is earth. It is also name of a river, but nothing about sky. So it must be the all right, so it took us much more than 10 minutes, but uh, we're done. Anybody has any question, anything you'd like to ask me about? I don't see anything in the comments. So for next uh, lesson, I've already actually, I'm now very successful. Somehow miracles are happening and I'm successful. And I already have the test for next week. It's done, it's ready. And um, uh, so I can show you in brief uh, what might be the difficulties for uh, for your uh, for your next lesson, but I didn't find them there. It seems that as we are going further and further, at least for the time being, uh, things are getting cleared up, and we do not really see, or I do not really see many problems. So we are going to look at exercise twelve, right? No, exercise 13. So after that, you will be looking at Dhenu. 
Uh, always be careful and memorize it together with the feminine or masculine. In the Anki collections, I do not mention whether it's feminine or masculine, but I mention the noun group. So you may like uh, maybe to collect, you know, from our declension table, from the Excel, Excel file, you may like to collect which number is feminine, which number is masculine. Uh, but I like to learn it separately. So I'm not like learning it in three groups. You will be also learning third group of neuter, neither female nor male. That's also a thing and it's different. So now we are going through only masculine and feminine. Uh, so it will get a little more complicated, but uh, I personally like to learn it separately. So for me, the feminine or masculine doesn't matter. It's a different group. So that's how I learn it. Okay, but if you want to distinguish like this, it's helpful too, because then when you learn the vocabulary, you learn it not only with noun group, but also you learn it as female or male. And it may help you somehow. I'm not really sure how, but it may help. Usually people like to learn uh, whether it's feminine or masculine. You will probably uh, need it also when you use pronouns. We didn't learn many pronouns yet. We did, but not many. So when you apply pronouns, you will have to pro apply the proper pronouns. And if you don't know whether it's female or fem feminine, masculine or neutral, neuter, you will have problems. So that's the henu. Be careful, it is feminine. We had already two kinds of masculine nouns ending by short u. And now you, you are learning third noun group ending by u. So it's getting a little more demanding on you because you need to remember these groups. NG24 is invented by me. You do not have it in the declension table, so be careful about it. And uh, uh, it's, it's uh, a little bit different. It's a little bit different, uh, especially because of this ra. So you do not get any ra in dhenu, dhenio. No ra is there. But here we get, we get mataro, matare, a lot of ra. Uh, a few vocabulary, a few uh, yeah things of vocabulary. Um, as you can see, really nothing big. Bilandhati, put on oneself. It's not mentioned here in the footnotes. So it's a new word which is not mentioned here. You would of course find out from the results, from the from the answers. Uh, but um, you may like to know already from the beginning. Bilandhitva is coming from the word bilandhati. I'm going to send it to you in the chat box. Uh, it's included in the Anki collections. I will send you the Anki collections, uh, hopefully today. I have them. I'm not sure whether I'm them ready, but I have them. I have it in my Anki. What else? Anything else? Yes, we have here uh, a problem with the footnotes. The footnotes do not really go well. Uh, this number three is probably useless here. So do not consider it seriously. You will have number three again here. And that one is the right one. So everything is actually correct. You see, one went, that's right. Um, and then for two went back. There you have it. We have one another time here. Right? So that's also the thunderbolt fell. And both in this case and also in this case, you need to use absolutive, all right? Gantva and so on. And uh, number two. Can you see it? It's not in here, right? I don't see it.
So this one is redundant. I do not see uh, where where does it apply. And then uh, this one is fine. Along uh, the river, you have now four words for along the river. You have Anugangan, Anunadin, Nadi Anu, and Nadi Basena. You have four ways how to say along the river. We had Anugangan in a previous exercise. Breaks into two with Havindati, yes. And that's it. That's it. Anybody has any question? No questions. So I'm going to eat something. It was a pleasure to see everybody. May you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be successful in everything you do.